This is Tom Bridge for, uh, from Technolutionary, and we're going to be taking you through a quick uh, demonstration of Apple's DEP uh, device enrollment protocol, as well as the uh, you know, installation of applications through an MDM. Uh, in this case, we're using Simple MDM, uh, Eric Gomez's install application program, uh, TrueSource Labs uh, DEP Notify tool uh, to walk people through the entire environment, as well as a monkey uh, install, uh, which will give us the necessary tools to uh, bring this laptop to life uh, and program it for the very, very first time, all without IT having to touch it at all. Um, this is accomplished through uh, some very clever uh, programming done mostly by my friends Eric Gomez and Joel Rennick. Uh, this is backing up against Simple MDM, which is a, uh, a commercial uh, mobile device manager that supports the install application package uh, verb that's part of MDM client. And you can see here that we're launching up a, a VM that's never been booted before. And uh, you did this using Joe Chilcote's uh, VFuse project and the Auto Damage project to take a disk that has never been uh, booted before and uh, take it through its initial process. So we're going through the setup process here, and you're going to notice that we're getting the configuration available screen, which basically says, hey, Technolutionary is going to configure this Mac automatically. And you can put a phone number there and an email address, and it's going to warn your users that administrators may restrict access to apps and features, install and remove apps, remotely erase this computer, and monitor internet traffic on there, because those are the kind of things that you can do when you're registered as part of an MDM. So we're going to continue with this process. And you'll notice that the system kind of stalls out at this point, and that's primarily due to the fact that we're installing packages from our website. We have set up a uh, directory on our website that is packed full of a couple of different packages. One of them is DEP Notify, which is an application you'll see in, in use in a second. Um, the other is a signed version of the Monkey Tools. You can also see that you know here we are. It's it's going to try and uh, transfer some information to this Mac. We're not going to do that right now. And uh, we're also going to create a new computer account. So I'll say, hey, my name is Tom, and I'll put in a nice little password here. But no password hint, because that's silly. And then click Continue. It's going to create me a standard user account on this machine, as well as our service uh, local admin account, which has been created by DEP. And it's going to say, hey, what time zone are you in? I'm here in DC. And we're going to click Next. It's going to offer to send in the analytics. So we'll say, sure, because this is just a virtual machine and we don't care. It's going to take you through the initial setup phase. This is where it uh, kind of transitions from the pre-stage environment over to uh, the user's environment itself, do the initial login as the user, and take us to the user's desktop. Once we get to the user's desktop, the uh, system environment is going to uh, go through and it's going to fire off a launch daemon, a root enabled launch daemon that lives in slash library slash launch daemons called install applications. And it is going to use that to fetch a JSON file from our website. That JSON file is a marked up piece of text that includes pre-stage, stage one, and stage two packages that uh, we're going to download for install. And now that we're in the users section, we're going to see some things happen for the users. Hey, welcome to your new Technolutionary machine. We've got a few more steps for you to get your machine ready for first use. Hang tight and watch the screen. Let us know if you're having trouble uh, and give out a phone number. This is when we actually launch the monkey daemons, which weren't installed on this machine until uh, that pre-stage ran. It's grabbing our testing catalog, which is what where this particular uh, manifest is environment. You'll see that there's a notification up here that says the software download is beginning. And it's going to go through a process of downloading that software, checking out the uh, system to make sure that no Apple software updates came out in the intervening time. Um, and obviously, if, it, if there were intervening updates, they'd be performed at this time. Um, but it's going to say, hey, by the way, uh, now you've got some software to install, and it's just going to reach out to that point here. Um, one thing to notify, you can have as many different uh, software packages installed as part of stage one and stage two under install, install applications as you can iterate through in that JSON array. And uh, it's very helpful to uh, pre-stage all of the applications you're going to need beforehand uh, and then use stage one and stage two to kind of step through the programming of the environment. You'll see here that we've got five packages that need to be 
installed Chrome, Firefox, Text Wrangler, um, and the DEP Closer app, which is something that we've created to essentially clean up after this entire process. So we're going to click Update All to kind of get moving. It's going to start through installing Firefox and Chrome, uh, install our Monkey Report system, uh, install Text Wrangler, and then the last thing it's going to do is that DEP Closer environment, which will terminate our uh, software, our DEP Notify application, and uh, you know remove any traces of it from the system after it completes. Um, now we're deep into installing Chrome here. I think the version that's on the server is a little bit old. I think 58.0.3029 is about a week out of date at this point, but you know it shows that this uh, particular system hasn't had its auto package system or its auto packager run lately, but that's just fine. Uh, one important thing also to note is the DEP Notify is fully programmable and you can see that it's hanging out back here and you can see that our title window has changed uh, to welcome to Technolutionary. We set this body text here. Um, we've set this status symbol here. You can actually set this progress bar so that it's not just a, a scrolling line but that it's, it shows individual steps as you step through the entire environment. Um, it's, very, it's very flexible, uh, and uh, there's going to be some nice things that happen as part of that. And, of course, now it's finished up here, and it's going to say, hey, thanks for getting your machine set up. Uh, if you have any questions, ask your mentor, and then it's going to quit. And you can see that, hey, we're all up to date, and now this system is done. So thanks, everybody, for watching this video, and have a great day.